Hey, so today we're gonna go over like 2019 New Year's resolutions and how it can motivate you to travel the world. All right, so story time. About, about two years ago in 2016, um, I made the decision to travel to at least one new country a year. When I did this, um, it planted the seed and it was phenomenal because that tree grew like crazy. Um, what I ended up doing was, before that, I knew I've always wanted to travel the world and see you know, every country in the world, go to as many places as I can. Um, and you know, I, I, prior to that, I think I went, I've been to one, two, three, like three or four countries, including my home country. It wasn't too many and I was like, you know, something's got to change. If I'm going to see, there's around 200 countries in the world, and if I'm going to see all 200 countries in the world, I'm going to have to go, you know, do something about it. I'm going to have to change the way I'm living. And so, at the end of 2016, the start of 2017, I was like, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to travel to at least one new country a year. And when I made that decision, um, that was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. Just that simple decision of choosing to go to at least one new country a year. When I did that in 2017, I ended up going to four countries in Central America. I went to three or four countries in Europe, and I went to like seven or eight countries in um, in Asia, Southeast Asia, and whatnot. So it's like what seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it's like I think it was anywhere between fourteen and seventeen countries. I feel like I'm missing one or two, um, but. That was like phenomenal because in the spring, I had like two weeks off or a week and a half off and I was gonna go meet up with a friend. Those plans fell through. Uh, I found a cheap ticket to Honduras and then you know, did some traveling from Honduras to Guatemala, to Belize and Mexico. Came back up to the States, found a cheap ticket back from Cancun back to the uh, Chicagoland where I used to live. And then my buddy said, hey, let's go run with the bulls. And so, we planned for later in that year to go run with the bulls in um, in Spain. And so we went to Pamplona in July, I think it was early or mid-July. We did the running the bulls, we went to Ireland, we went to France, and then I uh, went back home, went to work for a while, and then I found a different job and I wanted to take off time and whatnot. And so I ended up traveling into Southeast Asia for I think two or three months. And I went to like China, went to Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, uh, India, Nepal, went to Indonesia, um, so let's see, what's that, yeah. So it was like, I went to 14 or 15 new countries. At the beginning of the next year, uh, this year, 2018, I went to uh, the Middle East, you know, I went over to Israel, and then and here I haven't done too much traveling. I've done a lot around Israel, and I've been able to live in Israel, went to Cyprus, and, I mean, I had some layovers in Spain and um, the UK and Turkey, but I, I think Spain, I left the airport, and then Turkey and uh, the UK, I didn't leave, so I still need to go, go check out those countries. But nonetheless, um, this next year, I'm gonna be able to travel to probably like 10 to 50 new countries, and um, the I'm kind of rambling on here, but the moral of the story is like, if you set that goal to travel, and you give yourself a number or something, be like, hey, I'm gonna, this year I'm gonna see five new countries, or um, I'm gonna go to a different continent or something. You know, like, it'll push you to kind of step out of your comfort zone, and then once you kind of get the ball rolling, you'll be like, okay, I wanna do more and more traveling. I realize how much more realistic and easy this is to do. I, it does, it's not as expensive as people make it out to be. It's not as scary as people make it out to be. Um, I mean, depending you know, who you are and where you're going, it can be a little bit, but that's good. It's good to be scared. It's good to be put in your, uh, outside of your comfort zone. And then you can challenge yourself, grow, see new places, go to new countries, and just become you know whoever it is you want to be or who you're meant to be. So um, I would definitely encourage you guys to set this as a goal for 2019. Set a goal to travel to at least one new country in the world. Um, if this video helps at least one person go to leave their home country, because I mean, like I know tons of people who've never left their home country. 
then you know like I'd be super super happy about you know super happy about that if you guys like this video if it's helpful at all um, just let me know you know by uh, clicking like or subscribing or adding in the comments um, if there's any of the videos you guys want me to make I'm trying to make a new video every day I'm posting about three a week um, and if you want to check out my channel, it's NST Never Stop Traveling in the description box below. Description box below. Um, you can check out my sister's art, and I think I have like an Instagram, Facebook page, and I think I'm trying to set up Reddit, but I'm not too good at that. If you guys got any tips on how to work Reddit, just let me know. That'd be awesome because I'm trying to like learn how to use that a lot more. Anyway, I gotta go. Um, you guys have a happy holidays and enjoy the new years. Peace out.